What's up guys? Geek here. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I've got my Google Mini here. If you guys don't have one of these, you should pick them up. They usually run around 50 bucks. Um, sometimes you can catch them on sale for 40 or uh, 30 but they are really awesome. It's a, it's a voice assistant. It's also the same assistant that's built into your Android phone or the big Google Homes um, or the big Google Max, the newest one. Um, so what I'm going to do today is run through five, um, we'll call it five, there's a few things that are like multiple things, um, things that you can do with your Google Home. You may have gotten one for Christmas or your birthday and you just don't know what you can do with it other than, you know, ask it goofy stuff, um, ask it questions. So uh, I'm going to start off with something kind of simple. Um, number five is play rain sounds or thunderstorm sounds and the reason I'm doing this is because I like a little noise when I sleep and rain and thunderstorms make me just pass out. So uh, this is what you do. You can just say, hey Google, play the sound of rain. This is the sound of rain. And it plays the sound of rain. Or you can say, hey Google, play the sound of thunderstorms. First you have to stop what you're doing. Hey Google, stop. Hey Google, play the sound of thunderstorms. Here's what a thunderstorm sounds like. This one takes a minute. It starts out with a rain sound. I'll let this one play for a second. That sound alone is making me sleepy. Come on, I want to hear a good thunder boom. Oh, don't make fun of my dead plant back there, by the way. <laughs> eh. Problems. Anyway, you get the point. Maybe you heard it. Uh, I'm not sure how well the camera's picking it up. Um, hey, Google. Stop. Okay, so the next thing that you can do, uh, I'm, I'm calling it Play Silly Games. Um, one cool thing that I actually found that you can do with the gaming part of it is uh, if there's any Stranger Things fans out there, you can do this. Hey, Google. Can I talk to Dustin from Stranger Things? Sure, here's Dustin from Stranger Things. Hello? This is Dustin. I found something. I don't know what it is, but I could really use your help. Is anybody there? I'm here. Oh, okay, you gotta see this thing. I'm not sure what it is, but I think that I discovered a new species. Wait, I just realized I don't even know who you are. How do I know if I can trust you? Okay, I have an idea. Pop quiz. What's Eleven's favorite food? Waffles. Ding, ding, ding. That's right. I guess you're good for now. I'm letting you off easy this time. So, I haven't told my friend yet, but I found something in the trash. It's like some kind of polywog. I need a place to put this guy until I can bring him to school tomorrow to show the other guys. What do you think? Should I keep it in the bathroom? In my pillowcase? Or in the turtle terrarium? The turtle terrarium. Yes! Genius! Over and out. If you guys Sorry, have seen the show. Temporary eviction. Here you go, little guy. My friend and I are going to keep you nice and safe. and helping me out. This little guy is so mysterious. I could probably use your help in figuring out some other stuff. Can you still talk? Cancel. Yeah, that's one of them. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's like Dustin's talking to you. If you've seen the show, he's the kid that uh, didn't have any teeth in the front and doesn't have collarbones. Um, anyway, 
uh, another little game. And this is so stupid, but this is the, the child in me, uh, the immaturity in me, and I, I love this. Uh, you're probably going to think I'm an idiot and never watch me again, but here we go. Hey, Google, talk to fart games. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that yet. Um, hey, Google, talk to fart noises. All right. Here's fart noises. You're back for more fart noises. It's amazing. So I've got A for you. I think I have one more. Want to hear it? Sure. Just one more. Here are a few, just in case. <laughs> Thank you for asking. Would you like another one? Cancel. Hey, Google, pull my finger. Excuse me. <laughs> hey, Google. Hey, Google, pull my finger. Excuse me. <laughs> That's so stupid, guys. Uh, anyway, okay, moving on. <clears throat> uh, the next thing is, uh, the first half of it is uh, you can have Google tell you the weather. Um, so, uh, you can be like, hey Google, what's the weather outside? Right now in Hoover, it's 76 and clear. Today, it'll be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 93 and a low of 74. Which that's today now, which it's currently 12.33 a.m. So it's giving me the, the forecast for today, you know, it's not today yet because I haven't went to sleep anyway. Um... So yeah, um, that's, well, you know where I live now, sort of. Um, and also you can be like, hey, Google, how far is it to Disney World in Florida? You are 545 miles away from Walt Disney World Resort by car. Hey, Google, how long would it take me to get to Disney World? By car, the trip to Walt Disney World Resort is 8 hours and 19 minutes with light traffic. You can see the full route on your phone. And that's really cool because what she just said, she sends the directions to um, the same account that's connected to the Google Home, which is also connected to my phone, to my Android phone, um, which is really cool. And now I can actually click it and get the direct route, say if I'm heading to Disney World right now, which... I've never been, um, then I would have the directions automatically on my phone pulled up, ready to go. Um, but that's really cool. The next thing, I'm going to have to turn the volume down a little bit because uh, it's going to be really loud. Hey, Google, volume 40%. And this is probably going to get me demonetized, but that's okay. I just want to show this off. Um, so you can do this. Hey, Google, play death metal. Okay, here's the spot of my voice is called the sound of death metal. Hey Google. Cancel. So that's cool. Hey Google. Volume 50%. Turn it up just a little bit. Hey Google, play 90s rock. Choosing songs is only available to Spotify premium subscribers. So that. this Spotify 90s rock station to listen. Hey Google, next song. Hey Google, next song. I want to find something I like. Hey Google, play 90s pop. Play 90s pop. 
playing No Fuego Alvedar Me De Ti, En Vivo 90s Pop Tour, Volume 2 on Spotify. Hey, Google. Stop. <laughs> uh, anyway, what she said a minute ago is choosing songs is only part of the Spotify Premium Package. Uh, I don't have Spotify Premium. I'm just a cheap, free member. Either way, uh, so let's say if you wanted to be like, Google, play, I don't know, Britney Spears, hit me baby one more time. She wouldn't do it. She would be like, hey, play this. It, it would play a certain playlist similar to that song. Hey, Google, play 90s rock music. Sure. Here's the Spotify playlist called 90s Rock Renaissance. Renaissance? Sorry, something went wrong. When you're ready, give it another try. Heh. <laughs> See, that's connected to your Wi-Fi, and if your internet's ever kind of messed up, then you'll have issues. Hey, Google, play 90s Pop Playlist. All right, here's the Spotify playlist called 90s Pop Rock Essentials. Hey Google, next song. Oh. Hey Google, stop. And that's really cool. Um, I think you can also connect Pandora um, and maybe iHeartRadio. Not quite sure about that one. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can do Pandora. Um, so the final thing that I'm going to say is really cool. Does take some um, third-party stuff that you kind of tinker with, uh, and you have to connect the two accounts. You have to connect your, well, this is your Philips Hue account, which is light bulbs in your house that can be controlled through your voice assistant um, or through your Google Mini. Uh, so, in my case, I would say, hey Google, turn off the fireplace lights. You got it, turning two lights off. And the lights go off. Now, this bright light that you see over here is my ceiling fan light, which I do not have connected to um, voice controllable, controllable, controllable bulbs. Um, so, I can say, hey Google, turn on the right fireplace light. Sure, turning the right fireplace light on. And only that one would come on. Hey, Google, turn off the right fireplace light and turn on the left fireplace light. Sure, turning off the right fireplace light. See that? You got so, it. Turning on the left fireplace light. A lot of people don't know you can do that. You can give it two commands at once. Uh, so I could say, hey, Google, turn off the fireplace lights and what's the weather like outside? Currently in Hoover, it's 76 and clear. Today, it will be partly cloudy with a forecasted high of 93 and a low of 74. Hey, you Google. It. Turning. Turn on the fireplace lights. You got it. Turning two lights on. So that's pretty cool. But you can also do, um, a lot of people haven't discovered this part about Philips Hue. Uh, so, hey, Google. Turn the fireplace lights to 20% brightness. Okay, setting two lights brightness to 20%. And they're super dim right now. Hey Google, set the left fireplace light to 45% brightness. Okay, setting the left fireplace light brightness to 45%. Hey Google, set the fireplace lights to 100% brightness. Sure, setting two lights brightness to 100%. And that's really cool. Um, I wish I could just randomly like think of things that I could do. Uh, uh, let's see, let me try to think of something. Uh, 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 uh. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Did you hear about the French chef who caused an explosion in the kitchen? No. They called him linoleum blown apart. <laughs> okay, hey Google. Volume, 70%. Hey, Google, tell me a pun. It's a wonder how stadiums get so hot when they're filled with fans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Google, tell me a joke. Why did the banker switch careers? She lost interest. <laughs> 
And on that note, I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's something a little different, something a little fun that I wanted to do. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet, subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. This is Zombie Geek out.